Hello there, my name's Emily Pease and I'm the course manager for the new T-level health and nursing that's going to be starting at Southdowns College in September 2021. So what we know is that T-levels are a new two-year level three technical study programme designed with employers to give young people the skills that the industry needs. So the the Health and Nursing T-Level will give you both the clinical skills and the core knowledge base you need when you go on to your formal nurse training. So, you've worked super hard, you've got your level fours and above in English Math Science, you've been for your interview with us, you're ready in your brand new uniform and you come to college. What next? So, in year one, we have a core content year. Okay, so that's the um, that's the year that we spend the whole year talking about nursing in general before we go on to specialise. So there are core components that we're going to be looking at. So some of them are listed here. Working within the healthcare sector, health and safety for the healthcare sector, provided person-centred care, managing information and data, good scientific and clinical practice, health and well-being, infection control and prevention, and safeguarding. Now, all of these are going to be taught in our brand new theory classrooms um, to give us a real good knowledge base when we go on to some more practical work. So how's the core content assessed, core content A? So that's going to be through a two hour, 45 minute exam that you will sit. Moving on, we have the core component B, which is the core science concepts, which is our biology, chemist and chemist, chemistry and physics, and further science context, which, which is really consisting of anatomy and physiology. And that again is going to be assessed by another exam, and that's two hours, 30 minutes long. So the core skills element of our first year, so this is the more practical element of our course, where you're going to be working in our simulated brand new ward environment and consulting room spaces. So here we're going to be learning about demonstrating person-centred care skills, communication skills, working as part of a team, reflective practice, researching and presenting our work. So the assessment of our core skills is going to be through an employer set project, so our links with the NHS and employers, where you're going to demonstrate your ability to plan, deliver and reflect on care for a real life case study patient. So in year two, we're moving on, you're going to have the opportunity there to specialism, specialise in one of our three key specialisms we're offering. Supporting the adult nursing team, supporting the children and young people's nursing team and supporting the mental health nursing team. So alongside this, you're going to also be learning key performance outcomes to assist you with the individual's overall care and com uh, comfort, which is our core nursing skills that we all have to learn no matter what branch we decide to go into. So our performance outcome one is safeguarding. It forms a basis of so much we do within nursing. Manual handling, so how to support people to move when they can't do that themselves. And how to recognise and support people in pain, whether that's physical pain or emotional pain. How to interpret care plans that are written and how to recognise limitations in mental capacity. Performance outcome two is where we assist registered professionals with clinical and therapeutic tasks. So examples of this, we're going to learn about wound and pressure area care. We're going to learn about support with personal care, support somebody with their nutritional needs and monitoring of and adaptation to those care plans. So performance outcome three, we have undertake a range of physiological measurements. So working again on our on our simulated walking board environment, we're going to learn about taking weights, blood pressures, peak flow readings, urinalysis, temperatures, oxygen, oxygen saturations and blood sugar levels. And then we move on to our occupational specialism one. So if you choose this one, this is supporting the adult nursing team. So some examples here on my screen of, of the kind of things we're going to be looking at. So physiological me measurements, supporting the activities of daily living, skin integrity, so wound care, pressure area care, 
moving and handling of adults, the role of carers and end of life care and palliative care. Occupational specialism two is supporting the mental health team. So some examples here of the kind of things that we'll be looking at. So working within a multidisciplinary team, risk factors that we might find within mental health, developing sustained relationships with individuals, psychopathology, so that's our real, our different types of mental illness that we might come across and assisting there with their therapeutic interventions to support people. Occupational Specialism 3, our final one, is supporting the children's nursing team. So some of the examples of the things we'll be looking at here, the rights of young children and young people, clinical assessment of children and young people, communication with children specifically, it's very different to adults, therapeutic activities, so things such as puppet therapy, play therapy, drama therapy, and of course safeguarding. So over the course of the two years, you're going to have the opportunity to take part in some really extensive practical work experience. You're going to have the opportunity to experience all of the different occupational specialisms before you choose on your specialism in the second year. So is T-level health and nursing for me? So this is a course which mixes high level academic skills and practical skills and work skills that are relevant to nursing. It's a level three course, so you really must have had your grade four minimum in maths and English. And if you have a really strong desire to pursue a career in nursing and you want to work hard at it at level three, then this is the course for you. And I'm really looking forward to seeing you there. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye.